Okay guys, welcome back. This is part three of the uh, character rigging process. This time around we'll be rigging the um, arm, the um, hands, so we'll have some finger controls, wrist control, um, yeah, an IK handle of course to um, rotate the actual length of the arm at the, at the elbow. So let's get stuck into it. First up we need to create a joint chain, so I'll go skeleton, create joints. Just go to the options. I'm going to reset everything and just change that secondary world axis to Z. Um, that's about it. Cool. Close that. And oh, the first one I want to put in here, I'm just going to zoom into the shoulder area. Put it right up here around where the scapula is, top of the shoulder. Approximately here. And then I want my one right here. I don't want to come too far out or too far in because you need to put it somewhere where um, you know the uh, the arm is going to rotate down. If it's too far out, you're going to get a large gap in between the arm here. It looks quite strange. Okay, so my next one will be right out here on the elbow. There, and finally my wrist. Wrist looks like it's about here. That'll do for now. So I better name these. So here L L underscore left side. Um we'll say scapula. And then I'll go down one. This one's gonna be L underscore shoulder. L underscore whoops. Um elbow. And one more, L underscore wrist. And here they are, my scapula, my shoulder, my elbow, and my wrist. Fantastic. Okay, so now I will come into my top view. I'll hit F to focus, pull out a bit. Now I need to position them so as they're actually going to run the length of it. So I'll grab my scapula and just move the hole up forward a bit out here and I'm going to actually rotate this one slightly inwards because that's a dead straight line from the scapula the shoulder here all the way to the wrist and I do want to have a slight bend it helps Maya um, understand what way we want that bend to be and of course the wrist is going to be bending forwards so that's going to help us when we create the IK chain okay so next up let's put in our finger joints so we'll go skeleton create joints I'm going to put one for the fingers here, so I'll go right about there, um, there, one here, one there, and I like to create one more joint and then delete it. That way, the end effector, this end joint, is pointing out in the right direction. Let's hit enter, and if I wanted to, I could simply control D and move that one down and rotate it. like so um, and then just move them all into position okay I'm actually looking at that I'm not that happy with this joint orientation it's actually orientated in this direction all right we'll have to fix that a little bit later um, which we will, but just for now. See, I'll show you the difference here. If I were to delete that, and we'll create another, rather than copying, we'll go create joints. I'll create one here. And then straight out. Now you can see it's pointing in the right direction. There we go. These end effectors, you can actually have them poking out the end of the skin here. Okay, same as this one if I wanted to. So let's go again. One from here, here, to here, to here, plus one more, and delete it. And I'll hit G to repeat. So, go here. 
more, one more, delete it. Fantastic. Now we've got to name them all. So this is my L, whoops, L underscore um, thumb. I'll just call it thumb one, thumb two, etc. Copy that, make it a bit quicker. Thumb two. Paste it, thumb three. And thumb four. Okay, next one. Finally, thank you for. Great. Okay, now what we want to do is, of course, parent each of these to our wrist. Grab the wrist, hit P. Um, I can probably grab them all actually. Shift select them all. Let's see how we go. And then grab my wrist and hit P. There we go. They're all connected. Um, now I need to go back into my perspective and make sure. I bring them all up. Whoops, I missed one. So I'm going to bring them all up because they're sitting at origin 0, 0 in the Y axis. Bring them up. Hit F to focus. And now it's just about positioning them correctly. I'm actually going to take my mesh into shaded mode. Okay, so they're all in position. Got all my fingers done. See that? Okay, the next step is to one, we need to parent the, the uh, scapula. Parent the scapula. So I'm just trying to grab it. There we go. We'll parent that to this one here. Whoops. Hit P, so it's parented in. Now we're going to create the IK handle coming from the shoulder to the wrist. So I go skeleton, IK handle, um, rotate plane solver, great. Um, cool. We're going to go from the shoulder to the wrist. And now should be able to grab that um, there we go grab that IK handle Let's see which way it's going to go that's better ok just to confirm I'll try it again and it's going back good so I'm Testing my orientations there. Yeah, it looks good. So just once again, you have to check the direction of that little white arrow. If it's not pointing back towards the direction in which the elbow um, is facing, which is behind the character, of course, that's that's what you need. If it's not, you need to go into Modify, Transform Tools. Um, universal manipulator to be able to change that. Okay, let's keep moving forwards. So next up, I'm going to create a wrist control. To that, I'll create a NURBS primitive uh, circle. NURBS primitive circle. I'll bring that up into position. I'll sc scale it first, and then hold V to snap it to the wrist. Hit F to focus and I'll rotate it um, boom, boom, boom. like this it's a bit too large so I'll scale it down a bit it's 
right in the middle of that joint. Okay, now I need to modify, freeze the transforms, and I'll delete the history on it as well, and I'll give it a name. In my channel box, the top of the channel box, I'll call this one my L underscore wrist control. And there we have it. So that's in place. Now we need to, um, let me check this, we need to parent the um, IK handle. I'm going to name this one too. Oops, L underscore um, wrist IK. Okay, so we're going to um, parent this one to the wrist control. Hit P, and I'll just check that it works, that it runs okay, it's working. I'll undo that. And we also want the um, wrist joint here to rotate like this. Okay, at the moment, if I were to come back and rotate this one, it's not rotating properly. Okay, so I'm going to select the um, wrist control, shift select the, um, the wrist joint, and I'm going to go constrain and I'm going to put on a orient constraint. Make sure maintain offsets on, hit apply, and let's just check it. Grab my wrist control and I'll just rotate it. Here we go. And I'll check, I can also bend it still, I can. So that was an orient constraint. And I just uh, parented the actual IK handle to my new control as well. Fantastic, so that's all working. Um, now's a good time to um, move into creating the actual uh, controls uh, that will um, create a fist or to flex and bend the, the actual finger joints. Now to do that, um, we're going to create some attributes for this control and then we're going to be using set driven keys. So let's get into it. So we'll create for this um, for this for the sake of this tutorial, <clears throat> we're going to create a um, a fist. Let's create a fist. So I'll come up to I'll set, I'll first I'll select the control, come up to edit, add attribute, name my attribute. I'll call this one fist. Give it a, a minimum and a maximum value. So I'll go say minus fifty and maximum of fifty, and I'll hit add. And here it is here, I'll just close this one for now. There it is there, my new value, my new attribute, sorry. Now we need to move into the animation menu because this is where we can find our set driven keys. I'll just pull up a bit closer here. So we go key, set driven key, and set. Okay, here we are in the set driven key window. Give yourself a bit of space here. So I want to move this one about here. Do you know what? I'll move this to this side. Just so as we can see what's happening. <clears throat> okay, so first we need a driver and we need a driven. Well, a driver is going to be our, um, our control here. So we've already got it selected. So I'll say load driver. There we go. And the one that we want to actually drive <coughs> is is not the fist oh sorry yes the fist that's going to be our driver so when we change this and here <coughs> it's going to drive not the wrist control we want to drive all of these little finger joints so let's select them we'll come from say here all the way up through grab them all one at a time. Boom, boom, boom. We'll load driven. There they are. I've got this huge list now. And if I select all of those, and now what we want to do is drive the. 
I believe we'll be doing rotating these around the Y. If I look in here, looks like the Y, the green. So I'll ch rotate Y. Okay. And if I wanted to, I could actually select one, two, three. I'm not going to translate, we're only actually rotating them. And I'm going to hit key. And that's keyed these ones up here. Now we're going to move our, we're going to select our, our fist again. And this time we're going to change the value up to say 50. And we're going to do the same again. So we'll grab all of these ones. We've got to grab them all again because this time we're going to rotate them all into position. Grab, grab, grab. And I'm going to do a rotate. Say, so we'll get them into say position like that just for now, just for the purpose of this. Um, the thumb. Now they're all in position. I'm going to rotate this one in slightly and rotate this one in because the thumb actually sort of comes inside it. Okay, and then I will key the whole lot again. And if I did this right, I should be able to come over to this side here, grab my fist attribute from my control, and if I middle mouse drag inside my viewport, they open up. There we go. And they're working nicely. Fantastic. So now I've got, I can close this. I can grab my control anytime I want, grab the fist and rotate them. So I could come back here, I could grab that wrist control, move my character, rotate the wrist, um, grab the fist and flex them. Okay, fantastic, that's working. And I can always take this back to zero because I have them all in the correct position. There we go, zeroed them all out. Okay guys, that's the um, arm completed with um, hand controls um, running through the wrist control. All right, so as you can see with um, using set driven keys, you could actually apply set driven keys as many attributes as you want. You could have finger one point, finger two, finger three. You might have just a pointing finger, a gesture or a two finger, like victory gesture, whatever um, takes your fancy. So you can just add a whole bunch of attributes for what, um, uh, what's required for your actual hands. And you would of course, uh, duplicate this over to the other side, or not duplicate, you'd mirror it. Remember mirroring, you go to back into our rigging, and you go skeleton, mirror the joints. Okay, mirror them over, then do exactly the same for the other side. Okay guys, so now this whole lot, well, this one needs to be parented actually. I would parent this one here probably to my um, root down here, or even to this one here, because at the moment if I grab my um, my body control, it's not going to move. So if I were to grab this one and parent it to this one, now I'll try it. There we go. Fantastic. Okay guys, thanks for watching.